My name is Jessie. I'm a graduate student at UCA. I'm getting my master's in mental health counseling and I work at the nursing school there. So well, I'm married. My husband and I will celebrate our 25th anniversary next month after dating for 36 days. Um, it's uh, been a wonderful 25 years with him. Some days haven't been so good, but especially once he was diagnosed. The intake doctor at the end of the day, the one that we saw at the beginning of the day, at the end of the day we had to go back to her. She called me in by myself and she said, I've known that man for all of 20 minutes of my life, but I'm telling you right now there's something wrong. I literally broke down in tears because I said, I know and I, I don't know what it is. I have no earthly idea how to explain it. And so from there we had more doctor's visits and that's when we came up with the vascular dementia. My husband was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's after being abruptly uh, terminated from a job. We discovered that um, there was something more than just mild, what we thought was mild depression. I was angry at him not knowing that the disease was coming. I thought he should have noticed a symptom sooner and said something to me. I was angry that he lost a job over symptoms and behavior at work. I was just angry at the world, angry at God. Didn't know why this was my, my journey. What did I do wrong to deserve this? It certainly didn't seem like it was in our cards. I would say with the support group, that's kind of where I hear the most about people's personal lives and their caregiving journeys. Um, I think honestly the thing that wears them out the most or makes them the most just disheartened, I guess you could say, is they feel alone. They just feel isolated. And so the support group's really good because they can see that they're not alone and they have other people in the same journey as them. They might not be in the same place as them in the journey, but they're all in this together type of thing. If you are not a caregiver, if you've never been a caregiver, and you are talking to someone or you know of someone who is a caregiver, understand they need a break. See if you can help them. They need a break. They need some some time to be able to heal themselves so that they can continue being that caregiver.